Hey guys, Cody with CJC Off-Road. Today we're bringing another one of our shop builds. Now we've thrown a lot of super high-end builds at you guys lately. However, today we're highlighting what I would call an everyman build. This customer wanted to improve the looks, the ride of his truck while still maintaining his towing and hauling capacities for both towing and using the truck as a work truck. So enter this beautiful rig right here. Now this customer opted to go with the Backcountry Shock Package. It is a custom tuned reservoir Fox 2.0 shock. And what that means is you have the reservoir that floats above the shock. And so some guys are gonna opt for those for looks, but also for ride quality, this package is gonna allow this customer to do a little bit of spirited off-roading without getting too crazy while still riding really well on the street. So thanks to the custom tuning, you don't have to sacrifice whether it's good street ride or a good off-road performance. The custom tuning that Carly puts into these shocks allows you to achieve both all with one shock package. The torsion sway bar you will see is a uh, upgraded sway bar. Now typically people in the car world upgrade their sway bars to a stiffer bar for better cornering, things like that. We're actually going with a slightly lighter rate sway bar. And what that's gonna do is cut down a lot of the in-cab feel you get from driveways and one-sided hits. Yet the sway bar is still stiff enough to allow you to really drive this truck like a sports car and not get crazy body roll and things like that. So it really is the happy medium. I've tested this on my personal truck going from the stock sway bar to no sway bar and then to the Carly sway bar. You're able to find that perfect ground between um, the improved ride quality without the harshness of the stock one, yet still being able to swerve and safely drive um, while towing on the freeway being able to maneuver the vehicle and things like that. Now, lastly, on the front end, you will see the fabricated radius arms. They were not a requirement on this build due to the uh, high offset of the wheels the customer chose. However, they did round out an extremely good looking package. And when you are going with custom tuned shocks, coils, adding the torsion sway bar, adding a freer moving radius arm is gonna be that last little nth degree needed to get as much ride quality out of the front end of this truck. And as you can tell here, they look killer as well. Now moving on to the rear of this build, oftentimes we talk about full spring packs, adder packs. Now this customer did have some heavy hauling requirements. So for what we hope to be the first and only phase of this build, we did uh, opt to stick with his stock rear leaf springs. However, that is still paired with Carly's custom tuned shock as well as a set of airbags. Now this will allow this customer to haul um, extreme amounts of weight while still maintaining a level stance of the truck. Now, if at any time the customer sells his trailer or does anything you know, along the lines where he's gonna need less capacity, it's very simple to option in the full spring packs and get an even greater ride improvement in the rear of the truck. Now, let me again point out that this customer will probably be hitting the max capacity of the truck, which is an extreme load, right? Most of you guys who are weekend warriors have a travel trailer, especially some of the more modern lightweight ones, you actually could very easily opt for the Adapacks or the full spring packs, pair it with an airbag cradle setup and be good to go. Um, however, again, this customer for, again, what we think may be the first or the, you know, move on to a second phase of this build, opted for the airbags and the factory spring, which means you're gonna have the full payload that the factory truck is rated for, plus whatever additional carrying capacity those airbags add. Now, the downside of that will be you have the factory rear leaf spring along with an air spring in the system, so you will feel a little bit more firmness in the rear, but again, it is all about your specific intents and purposes with your build. Now, obviously this is gonna be very detailed. If you do get lost in everything I'm saying, we do have a staff willing to answer your phone calls and emails to dial in a perfect package for your rig. However, we do like to make videos showing all the different variations that we do offer. Now, for those of you really keen observers, you will notice that this wheel and tire combination is completely out of the recommended wheelhouse. With a lot of trimming, we were able to make this truck clear in 90% of street applications. If you were to do extremely heavy off-roading, you will still get contact and things like that. However, it is one of those things of trimming versus look versus your personal desires. Now, obviously, my opinion is that this truck looks killer, and for a truck that's gonna spend the majority of its time on-road, this is a very cool wheel and tire package. However, we typically do recommend more of a nine inch wide wheel with a little bit uh, more conservative of a backspacing number. So when you do see like say these wheels are at I believe a four and a half inch backspacing, we typically recommend closer to five or five and a half. However, again, as you can tell, um, depending on if you're willing to sacrifice off-road performance for looks, this is a very good looking wheel and tire package. Now with that out of the way, this is the method 605 20 by nine, but in the negative 12, paired up with the 37 by 1350 Nitto Ridge Grappler. 
So again, we're going with an extremely wide backspacing with an extremely wide tire that will result in more trimming at this two and a half, three and a half inch height. Now, for those of you who want to go up to say a four and a half inch kit, this system or this wheel and tire package will work very well with those systems. So it's all about, again, the desire to look, amount of trimming and the wheel and tire package that strikes fancy for you. So rounding this out, I do think, again, this is a very good package for, again, what we would call the everyman. You may not need to spring for an event or a pin top, um, a crazy forged wheel. Most of the time, that's actually not what we're building. However, we do like to highlight those very cool builds on our YouTube channel. But if you do have any questions about your specific build, we have a full knowledgeable staff ready to help you on the phones or via email. And you can even leave a comment on this video and we'll get back to you as fast as we can. We really appreciate you guys taking through this video and watching us. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.